Uh, mail call, everyone. Oh, there's something here for you. Uh, Katie. Katie. It's from Allison. What did she say, Katie? Um, she says she might be coming for a visit. Anything for me, boss. Huh? Oh, right. Anything for me, boss? Uh, I don't know, call the clock. I'll have a look. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hi, Hi, I'm Dick Carp. And I'm, uh, uh... Ed McMudd. Really? <laughs> and we're on the set of Putman's Prairie Emporium for another edition of TV's Bungles, Blunders, and Bloopers. Putnams! <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. There's a place we all can go. It's always been there, I know. They have things there you would not believe. Come on down to Putnam's, you'll see what I mean. New adventures all the time, and Mr. Putnam thinks it's fine. You can be yourself there, it's all right to be you. You will find a friend. And a smile or two At Putnam's you'll always feel at home At Putnam's you'll never feel alone Magic's in the air Friends are everywhere At Putnam's Prairie Welcome to TV's Bungles, Blunders, and Bloopers, the show that proves nobody's perfect, especially the people you see on television. Right, Ed? Huh? Right. Anyway, with the help of the cast and crew of Putnam's Prairie Emporium, we're going to show you some of the things that can go wrong during the production of a television show. Oh, boy, I love watching people make mistakes on TV. <laughs> oh, me too. But if I may, Ed, I'd like to be serious for a moment. Oh, okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> oh, just kidding. What I was going to say is, I believe life is like the production of a TV show. It takes a lot of hard work, and a lot of mistakes are made along the way. Wow. That's deep. It is, isn't it? I'll say. I couldn't make head or tails of it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but I'm sure the folks out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hope so. Right. <laughs> anyway, in the production of a show like Putnam's Prairie Emporium, each scene is shot a number of times until the director feels he has the take he wants to use in the program. That means three or four hours of material is taped for each half-hour show. Of course, most of that doesn't go to air, and if you saw it, you'd understand <laughs> why. <laughs> but to be fair to the gang at the Prairie Emporium, they usually only have a few days to learn and rehearse the script before it's shot. So it's not surprising that every once in a while, someone makes a mistake or two. <laughs> what I mean, Caldecott, is that... Do you really mean that? <laughs> <laughs> if I invert the time closet's bilateral condenser and fuse it would That's right. What's right? You'd be surprised at all the things Canadians have invented. Like what? Uh, the, a gas mask for one, uh, uh, the, the walkie-talkie, <laughs> and uh, I'll just keep the, the, the. Speech therapy? Hey, Doc, I got some great jokes for you. Wait to hear about the one, a, a biologist, a chemist, and a, and a, and a well, somebody in a boat. <laughs> Say, that last fellow looked very familiar to me. Who was he? You got me. Oh. Well, anyway, I guess there's nothing worse for an actor than forgetting his lines. Oh, I don't know about that, Ed. You mean there is something worse? Maybe. 
How about working with an eight-year-old who knows your lines better than you do? Ooh, ouch. <laughs> uh, we also found that uh, the rubber sole sneakers first appeared in the turn of the century. That uh, a man named Earl, Earl Dixon, thank you very much, uh, invented the, uh, created the uh, Band-Aid in 1921 for his, for his wife. Accident prone wife. Well, we made a series of stops between uh, 1900 and 1948. Six. Uh, 1946, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that poor guy still in the business? Oh, he sure is, but he refuses to work with anyone under three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if an actor can't remember his lines. But what if he knows the line but can't remember when to say it? It's called missing your cue. <laughs> Ed just did it. Right. What? <laughs> Eureka! I've done it. Well, what's that item? I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's right, Katie. Everybody's afraid of something. My line, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. Uh, that's even better than yesterday when you came home with syrup in your shoes. Yeah. Well, it certainly doesn't seem funny to me. Back <laughs> <of> the school. <laughs> Who changed camera angles on me? Don't tell me. Where's our lines? Where's our people? Oh, man. Um, sorry, I've been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's try it again, please. Yeah. <laughs>